Today, Fifth Avenue is known for its luxury stores and world-renowned museums. But at one point, it was actually home to Millionaire's Row, where extravagant, ornate, Gilded Age mansions filled the avenue. One of the most famous Fifth Avenue residences was that of the Astor family. John Jacob Astor's estate, which was built in the late 1800s, was considered one of the grandest mansions on Fifth Avenue, with a ballroom that could hold 1,200 guests. Astor, a business magnet, perished in the Titanic disaster of 1912. After his death, the family sold the mansion to developers and today, Temple Emanuel stands in its place. Another breathtaking residence along the avenue belonged to Cornelius Vanderbilt. This mansion was built in the late 1800s on 5th Avenue and West 57th Street, but was eventually sold in 1926 due to large commercial development projects nearby. The mansion was demolished and in its place now stands Bergdorf Goodman. While the mansion itself no longer stands, remnants of its grandeur still exist today. Vanderbilt Gate, located in Central Park, was actually the front gate of the residence. While many of these mansions were lost through time, some still remain and now house organizations and museums. The breathtaking buildings that house Cooper Hewitt, the Jewish Museum, the Henry Clay Frick House, and the Ukrainian Institute of America were at one point the residences of some of New York's wealthiest. Even the iconic Cartier flagship store is housed in what was the Morton F. Plant residence, after the high-end retailer acquired the building in 1917. So there you have it. Next time you come shopping to Fifth Avenue, who knows, you may be stepping into what once was a luxurious ballroom. If you know, you know. Reporting for NBC for New York, this is Jennifer Vasquez.